this is the schmick overlord gorgeousness <laughs> i am going to open up the perception neuron access studio okay so this is all the mocap data i'm going to open up uh, st let's go sammy all right and we can see that we've got this okay this is the raw mocap data now what i can do here is i can come in and we can go into um, let's just change workspace quickly and we'll go into standard and i just want to close some of these windows just to make this screen a bit bigger we come into modifier uh, modify select our character and we come down into motion live because i've got the mocap stuff running in the background enable these perception you're on so now when i press play and loop let's come to the start that's me syncing up the sound preview space this character now is referencing our mocap data uh, and I want my users to just, yeah. Um, there we go. Okay. So we can see the character is moving. And now Get there. the character is moving in Omniverse. What does that mean? So technically what that means is that I can put a mocap suit on. Dave can put a mocap suit on. We can be in the same scene on other sides of the world. mocapping with an AR person as our director as a camera directing us on what to do pretty incredible so let's 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 just rewind and put that back into perspective I have a mocap suit on not right now I'm playing one of the videos uh, one of the pre-recorded ones from the perception neuron that's going into iClone picking up the character and bringing it over into Omniverse from there Dave who's in the US can yeah, see from Australia. my animation from Australia and we're not over these fiber mega connections either. yeah no I'm in Australia and we got poor internet NBN okay so I'm gonna slide her over and now right. oh hey yep yeah let's make it it's prettier up a little bit there we go okay so you've just joined the session for me <laughs> that's how far okay. behind we are Oh, I see. Okay, so, yeah. So what people have to realize is that I'm I'm watching this in real time, but there's a delay on the yeah on the yeah. YouTube's. So as Marco said, coming from mocap source through real illusion into uh, Omniverse Nucleus server. Yeah. In the cloud, by the way, and then push back out to our um, our workstations. Yeah, yeah, really is, and now. If I wanted to join an AR, or VR, you know, whatever, then I could be a mocap. Well, no, I couldn't. Someone else would be an AR, VR. I'd be a mocap. Yep. And we're acting together, being directed on the shot, and then we just cook out. Yeah. Bake out our animations and um, and go and bring them to. Uh, yeah. Omniverse. That's the important thing as well is that um, if we were to actually just bake out the animation, it wouldn't be so jittery. It'd be it's a lot cleaner. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's just you have to remember that we're streaming data <laughs> to the servers. But yeah, but we could have yeah literally multiple people just in a room, individual rooms coming together. Obviously, interacting with the world isn't really going to work. Actually, can you interact with the world? Well, I mean, yeah. If I added physics colliders to your hands. She might be able to knock stuff over. Might be able to knock stuff over. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe this might be a we, good user case for the action graph. Yeah, we need to do it in Machinima. Yeah, Or okay. we could do it. We could use action graph, but Machinima has a good constraint um, tool that you can just pick the bone, pick the thing, and then yeah. the thing's constrained to the bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. 